Hey guys, welcome to Advancing Security, your source for security guard pro tips. Today we're going to be doing karate kickboxing for security guards, the self-defense video. And we're going to be going over the straight punch for security guards. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so the straight punch. This is the video for you, especially if you're a security guard, because I'm a tailor of martial arts for security guards. There is a lot of techniques out there that are useless under security guard, professional, office, retail, uh, special events situations. They're not, they're not usable. So I'm trying to eliminate all that fat and stick to the lean stuff that can be used in most of, in most of every security guard type post. All right guys, so the straight punch is very important and very super effective. However, when you don't have the time or conditioning or experience using it, you can greatly damage your fist. Your hands, you, your body is the firearm. Your striking techniques and your grappling techniques, your every, everything you do combative wise, that is somewhat your ammunition, right? So when it comes to striking, you only have so many punches you can shoot. You can give to the person in front of you, right? Just like a magazine, only carries so many rounds, same thing goes with your fist. Why is that? It's because if you hit a solid, hard surface, you're gonna bash your knuckles in. You're gonna, you're gonna tweak your wrist, you're gonna hurt your elbow, and you won't be able to use it again during a self-defense scenario. All that being said, you have to be a type of sniper puncher if you're a punching type of person. I'm a puncher, I'm a kicker, I'm a striker in general. I prefer that over grappling and a whole bunch of other things. And I need to eliminate a lot of things that I used to do for security guards. Because as an armed security guard, you have to adapt and adjust and eliminate a lot of fat and understand now you have equipment that will affect your fighting system. Now, straight punches here, not this, not this. If you do that, you wanna have a bad time, right? You want to do it properly, you put your, your, your thumb right here, you roll your fist into this. There is a style of karate called Kyokushin Karate, which I call the lazy man's uh, boxing uh, or kickboxing, right? And it's because when you see the competitions, they're standing up like this, this is how they square up. As a heavyweight, I can square up like that and I can get away with a lot more by doing less. Now, if you're a lightweight, you're going to have to turn sideways or have to um, or turn at a slight angle. Have your guards up, obviously and you're gonna have to twist your body to generate more force. As a heavy guy who weighs 252, I could get away with doing this to somebody that's 200 pounds. As somebody that's 140 pounds, you cannot get away with doing this to somebody that weighs 200 pounds. Why is that? You need to generate a lot of more force to infect the mass that's in front of you. So I'm here. Like Kyokushin straight punches. I don't have to do too much turning. Very minimal. As a lightweight person, by the way, my weight has fluctuated, fluctuated throughout my years. I've always been this heavy. Um, you're gonna have to twist, you have to pivot your ankle, twist your waist or turn your waist and twist your wrist. This will allow you to generate more force. Now, the more they weigh, the more force you need to generate and the more strikes you need to give off. At some point, yes, it is, you know, snipe, being like a sniper puncher and accuracy is best. But at some other level, in order to get the accuracy, you're gonna need to trick the person or stun them, like knock the wind out of them, which might take them out of the, the fight for two seconds and then go for the chin. But, you, if you can't go for the chin directly, you have to set it up. The way you're gonna set that up is by doing combinations. Combinations is the best friend of lightweight fighters, especially if they're facing off against people who are heavier than them. So, straight up. You wanna throw your jab and your cross in true to the chin. Another thing you wanna do if you're lightweight, as you do it, you wanna to step to the side. Just in case they're throwing the same punches and the same and doing the same technique to you. As a heavyweight, hands up, chin down. You can advance with your opposite leg, or 
you can advance same leg. Depending what comfort level you have with these movements. Guys, I hope this training video helps you out and it's meant to help you develop your own personal fighting system as a security guard. A lot of us can't afford martial arts instructions or personal fitness instructors, coaches and things like that. Sometimes not even the money, it's just the distance. We can't afford the time. We don't have a vehicle that you, know, can, you can add extra mileage like that. It barely gets you from work and back. We have a lot of circumstances that can hinder us, but we still need to do something with our combatives as security guards, all right? So take care, so love yourself. Uh, leave a thank you or gracias in the comment section. Guys, working out with a body armor is very, very hard. <laughs> 33 extra pounds right here. All right, take care, so love yourself. Chao. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Peace.